Oh, hey, have you missed me? Welcome back to Valhalla. The electricity bill needs to be paid on the 24th. I know that feel. That's actually, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually literally when I have to pay my electric bill every, it's either the 24th or the 25th, so it's actually kind of crazy that that's what it says there. Please make sure you have the needed $8,000 at that time, which is uh, a little worrying considering I have five days and my funds are only near 3,000. It's the daily life of having to serve and bartending you're living day by day. Jill is curious about a Daruma she saw. Getting one will prevent her from getting to uh, be too distracted. Have a nice day. Alrighty. Look at my room though, it's so beautiful. Oh, boss left the hoodie anyway. Oh, that's right. Yeah, boss was here. I completely forgot about that. Um Is there a Daruma? There's a cracked one. Is there a normal one that's not cracked? No. How much is it? 450. A Japanese souvenir that has seen better days still has a vintage charm to it. We do have to pay our electric bill. Fuck it, why not? Bang, return. Good, she won't be distracted. Good to go. And there it is, it's right there. Um, alright, let's see what's going on in the real world. Alright, nothing new on the Kirimiki blog. There is something new on Augmented Eye. Danger used admin has been arrested. Danger used admin has been arrested again. Cyber, cyber crime, cyber crime, cyber crime unit uh, up the admin's ass. December 17th will come the second day of revolution. Yeah, I remember that. Um, but nothing weird happened on the 17th, I don't think. Other than that one guy who came in and was like, I want 17. Um, I don't know if that was a, a hint to anything. I may have just completely missed on that. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Danger U. With the new threat, which resulted in the arrest of, a, of the site's admin, known as Furfur, for a second time, we have no details to give other than that the um, other than that he was arrested as a part of an ongoing investigation. Cybercrime Unit's Lizette Long told the Augment to I during a call, "We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest, Furfur would only respond with a calm, not this shit again. Poor guy." Nano Cam is now making smart underwear. Uh, nano Camo, I mean, not Nano, nano Cam. Although that'd be pretty sweet if that just kind of an instance, I can kind of change the mood of my underwear. You know, like, you know, when you got your normal, like, Pikachu underwear or whatever, sexy lady comes over, you're just like, maybe just go with, like, all black, or, you know, you just want to pull a prank on someone, you pull down your pants, it's like all hearts, or just, like, see through, or pretend to see through, or something like that. If underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, Nano Camo has you covered. Already providing customer versions. Uh, consumer versions of their advanced nano ma uh, machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with the spo with spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. Okay, that's also a reason why I guess you would need it. Just ch uh, change its color to black and you'll barely notice. That won't change the smell though, they're not that advanced. We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this, uh, thanks to this an innovative product, a PR representative told the Augmented Eye. I'm already using them, super comfy if you ask me. Form, you just thought about looking up prices. Jill, d d did not. Although that's funny, because I don't think we're too far off from something like that. So um, the NBA did something interesting. They um, revealed a jersey like an actual like clothes like like the basketball jersey that you could change the name and the number of the player that you know, whose jersey you're wearing with like a remote or whatever so you could be wearing a Steph Curry jersey and then the next second it could be like a Kawhi Leonard jersey just like with a with a press of a button that's really kind of interesting um i wonder like what it feels like and like how heavy it is because I imagine there has to be a lot that goes on in doing something like that GSF January 4th card GSF January 4th card announced 66 American Kid and Giant uh, Yusuke headlining okay what is GSF though I imagine I'm imagining it's a play off of like you know New Japan Pro Wrestling or something like that but I don't actually know what the letters stand for the blood feud between Giant Yusuke uh, sorry, Yusuke and 66 American Kid reached the climax this year this uh, January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is the Tokyo Dome and this is New Japan Pro Wrestling because they always do the big Wrestle, uh, Wrestle Kingdom around this time. It's usually like January 4th or 5th. Um, 
but it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers such as the great DK and uh, sorry and Arons. Full card below. 66 American Kid versus Giant Yusuke, um, which I imagine Giant Yusuke is a reference to the great Sasuke, but also Andre the Giant, so he's the Giant Yusuke. I'm not sure actually. Um, 66 American Kid, I'm not positive what that's a reference to. Red Comet Jr., well, wasn't, um, wasn't boss Red Comet? So then my question is, who's Red Comet Jr. versus Nagisa? Um, Akito, I love it when it's just, like, all capital letters. It's the same thing with, like, Naito. Naito's name is just all capital letters. Um, versus the Great DK. Roy Campbell versus, um, Arendt for the, um... Yep, this is all a New Japan Pro reference, uh, a New Japan Pro Wrestling reference uh, for the uh, Junior uh, Junior Heavyweight Championship. Jack Bomb and Blaze versus Huli and Karakulita for the Tag Team Championship, and Osuna versus Sikri. Although New Japan doesn't have a women's division, so um, I guess they're bending the rules on that one. Uh, for wrestling, my boss made me curious. I always make everybody curious about wrestling. Um, let's see, does Danger You have anything? I think we did this already, right? No, wait, I don't think we did this. Apollo Bank is being attacked, Red 2. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augment and I talked about it briefly, but maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always trying to write serious shit, but I think AE got tired of her. Fucking shame. So all we get is clickbait from now on. Gonna get worse at the very least. White Knights say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three dead already. How? Is someone there shooting people? Looks like it was the security from the building, but I've got no details yet. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on, an insider or non. You gotta give us more. Doing my best here. Thanks, Based Anon. Oh my god, they really made a fucking little B reference. Thanks, Based Anon. Um, Jill, seems like a lot happened while I was gone. Alrighty. Explosion registered, and media still quiet about it. Can confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there are more bombs. So there's more bombs, not just one? That's right. Do you have any clue on who's doing this? Maybe for several sources that this is a group. How do you have sources? This is a group, a new one looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned. And it looks like it's not a group, but just one person who set up all this. That's pretty ballsy. And this is just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Huh, someone doing sh uh, stupid shit on the internet is actually being useful. Okay. Apollo Bank is being attacked Red 4. Can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The, attack the attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage is actually pretty unsettling. Damn. The file is available from approximately 60,000 sources. Uh, terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside the bank, which had the files under uh, several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, it looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed and odd, thanks. Or will you read the file? Chill. Nah. Alright, we're just gonna no-sell that. That's interesting. Alright. Um, let's get a move on to the day, shall we? This should get interesting. Monday, December 19th, and I gotta make up about $6,000. My god. Put on some wrestling. Good evening, Gil. Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're doing fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen. I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. 
But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you'll still be alive. That you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. We're not into Gil. It's not a thing. If anything, we're into you. Um, check that the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey, boss. Why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you totally look cute with it. I... I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Alright, Dana, Dana keeps going up every single day with me. It's not like I ever didn't like Dana, but... More and more, like, I'm like... Yeah, Dana. Right. Are you so worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Yeah. So cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear. We don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? No. Not really, no. Anyway, let's start the day. All right. Mm. I want me... Oh, sorry. It's right-clicking. I'm sitting here doing the wrong things. I do want re Base of the Titans to start, just because I love that song. Um, and we'll just randomly pick some things today. Try to get some different music up here. Skyline, Karma Team Dream, which I think I've played already. Digital Drive, which I think I've played already. And Dusk, which I... Whatever, who cares? <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, yeah, Gil? Oh, sorry, wow, that was the other... Really, Gil said that? Did he really? Wait, hold on. Did he actually say that? No, never mind. It said Jill said that, right? Yeah, it did. That's weird. Oh, yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Uh, yeah, just a sec. Boss, some Brian guy is looking for you. <laughs> Tell him I'll be right there in a bit. She'll, um, you heard her. It's all right, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's always weird whenever, like, as a bartender, somebody is coming looking for your manager, and you're like, well, I don't know how to handle this now, because it's like... Because sometimes you're placed in an awkward situation where it's like, well, I don't know if the manager actually wants to talk to this person or not, or cares. Um, but in that that's a situation where it's like, hey, it's Brian, and it's like, well, either my boss is gonna know who you are and actually come out, or my boss is gonna be like, who? And then just be like, nah, tell him I, I can meet with him later. Or just disappear. It's not so weird when you're BTC's, uh, when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Yes, I hate that. Um, handle me like I'm just another client. Uh, alright, I can do that. Well, what can I get you, Mr. Brian? He can't drink on my job. Oh, wait, never mind, I guess he can. Let's go with the basics. Sugar Rush, please. Coming right up. Sugar Rush, that's easy enough. By name, S, Sugar Rush. Two, one. Let's give him some options, a karma tree. Mix it up. Bang. There you go. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? Probably simple to make, easy to get out. Something you can easily promote. They like the Fridays and mix mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. That is very true of a lot of drinks. I've seen... I've seen people mess up very simple things. You can make... You can make anything bad. Something as simple as like a kamikaze, which would just be like, um, 
what a choice of vodka. I mean, you're doing like splash. Well, not even splashes, but quick counts of like lime juice and triple sec. And you can mess it up really bad if you pour too over or you make it too sugary or you're just trying to water it down, anything like that. Because you don't have to put that much lime or triple sec in it to bring out that kind of like sweet flavor in it um, and, and kind of like peel back on the uh, on the on the vodka and plus it's gonna be uh, most cases gonna be flavored vodka anyway so sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions if you can't even do that your future as a bartender is not bright huh they never told me that you're Jill right yep that's me Dana has talked quite a bit about you really and I guess you have a few questions for me am I right I actually don't know other than job. <laughs> Mostly concerning the closure warning, Valhalla. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news on the information uh, on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? I know about it, but I don't know the information about the White Knights having lost uh, lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal pro uh, problems using BTC certified bars. Uh -oh. BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving you know, the criminals time to cover the tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective me method for money laundering. Well, that's something fun to find out. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with, any, with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. Really? Well, I guess if you were the BTC, you wouldn't ax someone because of that. The restaurant themselves or the bar themselves would decide that because they're just not making enough money. But that's interesting. Huh. <laughs> if low sales were if low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close as close every year. That's actually true. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars, this is a beautiful song to play right now, uh, are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. Not here. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up, though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough, though. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. Alright, suplex. We're gonna give him a suplex. Uh, my favorite suplex is a good old dragon suplex. Or half and half suplex. That, that, that too. Um, suplex. Four Bronson Extract. Three Flanner Dry. Three Karma Tree. On the rocks. Mix it, bitch. Yeah. It's bitter. It's manly. It's burning. With fighting spirit. Here. The registry from the uh, form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. That's actually funny because I believe the story of... So there's a wrestling move known as the DDT, um, which Jake the Snake is attributed to creating. And I believe Jake the Snake accidentally invented the move because he was trying to do something else. And instead, it, he ended up dropping the dude on his head. But it looked decent. And that is where he invented the DDT. Um, so that's actually funny, because I think that's what this is kind of in reference to. Um, I might be wrong. 
You can ask the creator of the drink, uh, drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert? Yes, that's me. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. R Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh, I see. Mm, oh, we're covering up the... Although that's funny, because the, the, the creators of this are from Venezuela. <laughs> Um, so I'm guessing they're covering up the whole ease from China thing. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some, uh, sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Joe? Not really, no. Although... Yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery the correct order. The top-notch bartender. Fuck yeah! Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The re regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, chill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yes, yeah, um, just call me Stella, and get me a big beer, please. Huh, sure, on it. Stella asked for a beer. No, she didn't. She asked for a big beer. Come on, Jill. Gotta be on your shit. If you're, you gotta be a top-notch bartender, remember? Don't disappoint me now. Okay, bang. Are, are you sure you're fine? Um... You know Say, right? Oh, no. Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair and... Oh... Uh, right. That. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that, I had... Yeah, I figured as much. Air is suddenly a lot heavier. Yeah, you were thinking about her. Also, the music doesn't help either. Okay, I'm killing the mood. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. I don't know if it would be condescending. Um, it, it would just be hopeful, but just like there's, you're, you're just saying something at that point to try to make them feel better. I don't know, I guess maybe Gonsuming is the right word. What does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke. No! You, no, no. Not now. She may have lost uh, yeah, a friend. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? No, you don't. It's kind of interesting being in the mind of someone who has to think about this. Um, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art Van... No, Vondelay. Oh, that art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. It's the five stages of, uh, five stages of grieving? The five stages of, yeah, it's the five stages of, what is it? It's the five stage, I think it's the five, because it's like, what is it? It's denial, um, I'm forgetting it. It's denial. I forget what's in the middle of uh, the second. Then there's bargaining. Then there's oppression. Then there's acceptance. I think it's. I think it's grieving? It might be. I forget. Anyway, not important. Let's see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, or whatever they may, might be. 
Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with the swing, you know? That's not a terrible way. That's not a terrible way to get to what you want to do here, Jill. Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, no, it's not about feeling comfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. Yeah, but this is a situation where you also know the person, and I mean, that, that, what she said is like the sentiment of what she wants to get at. It's just, I, I feel for you, and I kind of just wish we could just easily fix the problem, but you, you can't. It's not that simple. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know that you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet that'll help me calm down a bit. Glad. Okay. Sweet drinks. Um, maybe Sugar Rush would be good right now. Sweet, girly, a little happy. What did she get before? Um... She had a beer, which is like bubbly, classic, and vintage? Is a blue fairy? No. Actually, perfect. Sparkle Star is at least happy. It's a happy drink. We'll go with that. Um, Agent, two aldehyde, one powder delta. We'll give her We'll give her two optional karma drink with this one. Uh, mix it up. There we go. Look at that. It looks so pretty, too. Here. Thanks. It seems you really like say. I don't have brothers or sisters. My uh, social interactions are usually strictly business. So say is more than a friend to me. She's... She's family. Sorry I brought that topic up at a bad time. Don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. Actually, that's fair. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They, they use a business mask to hide anything they don't want to know, uh, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. This has always been there for me. And now she might meet me. But here I am, sitting in a bar. Uh, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm u a useless pile of flesh. To be fair, you're not completely flesh. <laughs> Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of je jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gail, please serve Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Hey, this is a very, very heavy episode thus far. Very heavy. I wasn't expecting all that. I, I won't save here. I don't need to. Let's just let's hop straight into it. Alrighty, save to keep playing. There's Stella. There's uh, I don't know who that is on the bottom, but that's uh, oh that maybe that is Say, and then up top that's Dorothy. It's a ninja. He's doing like a Hulk Hogan like mm. God damn is it chilly outside It's interesting because if this is in 20 whenever I would have thought winter doesn't exist anymore I mean I guess okay Global warming doesn't quite work like that But still Um Okay I'm back eh? Um I think I remember art and the voice I gave him was a What would a kid like you know about that, hey? I'm just giving you the facts they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, Cat Boomer Girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zai uh, Zaibatsu Corp on hand. After that, that guy got riled up and started bowing bad bad up to him. Oddly enough, he was the only one who just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Oh, yes, it's this guy. 
Oh, well, I won't deny that uh, as I bought two corpus, anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it's, it has advanced, enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, and by enhancing and getting yanked around by a shiny chain around our necks. And you see that those big companies don't care about us. Why do you think the Glitch City is mocking all the guinea pig of the world? Actually, no. I gave this voice to the way more obnoxious dude with the question mark on his head. Maybe they had similar voices, but I think I toned Arts down a little. We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has uh, brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Lilum prison. AI went rogue, transferred to a delivery drone, or shipped it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. A fair point, although that program has proven to be uh, to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. By Batsu Corp's uh, success is more and more companies bringing their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. Wow, we are really in, like, modern, like, almost kind of like global politics right now. This happens in a lot of countries. America's the biggest one, but, I mean... You can go over to, like, Europe right now, and similar things are happening, especially in the UK. Um, more companies just feed me more people who will plant their feet in your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Zaibatsu, yeah, there's one thing I've learned. Then when you're bartender, political debate goes on, you stay as far away from it as possible. Zaibatsu Corp's main medical research, it's funny because it's almost like the thing I wouldn't, like, myself can't do. So it's weird that I have a job where I'm like, nope, stay out of it. Um, main medical research branch has uh, also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses pre uh, previously thought and curable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can't, uh, who can't afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine sh uh, shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by nearly uh, almost 40,000... Uh, 40, sorry, 40,000%? 40% this year. Th there's a discussion there. Uh, more jobs? Shut it. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you! Don't just sit there. Give me a Zen Star. Sure. Let's make a Zen Star for the, uh, uh, the Sword Baby. Unemployment rates are weird. Um... Because even, even now, I'm, like, not 100% sure. Like, I mean, because you can have a low unemployment rate and still be kind of screwing people over. Um... So it's a weird, it's a weird thing. Like, I saw that and I was like, but, oh, damn it. Fuck. I meant to do it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Fuck! Alright. Blackjack, I get you're drunk, but don't. It's just, there you go. There we go. Sour promo blend. It's like making a Long Island iced tea. You'd think something so balanced would actually taste nice. You'd be dead wrong. Although, you can make a uh, Long Island iced tea taste good. Alright, here we go. Uh, on the rocks. Mix it up. Bam. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. 
and even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there, ha uh, there haven't been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. Yes, they are! The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yup. Well, yes. But there are also, at times, at times, you don't engage with certain people who want a discussion and and their, their objective is just to troll the shit out of you or um, to have disingenuous conversation. Um, but to be fair, they're, they're also afraid of conversation in a way because they're going to pose it in that way. But if you're willing to actually open and listen, then yes, that's an honest conversation. Um, but yeah, no, no, I think the heart of what Stella's saying is very true. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank, it's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have uh, might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely she surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you have? Do you want anything? Me? Um. Just give me whatever you want. Huh? Two bad touches, please. No bad touching between the two of you. On it. Two bad touches. Better make them before I laugh too hard. <laughs> Dead. Uh, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Rock, mix it. Bang. One, two. They're gonna get blasted off of this. Bangs and through. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found out that one, uh, that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. It's very, very powerful. They didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine the guy shows up and tells you I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm f f I... Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Wait. Oh, she's laughing because of the bad touch thing. Okay, got it. I was like, wait, I, I, the way she says, uh, I, I did it as if she was sneezing, because she's just trying not to laugh, I see. It turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about would say is people. Why's that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I only saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She didn't need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, but she also really she's also really good with Krav Maga. And something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all that. Say is not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's well, wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. <laughs> she owes me an ice cream. I kind of want ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Bondelet? It's on me. 
Are you sure? Yeah, put her away. Okay, then I'll have a piano man, and she'll have a piano woman. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. Oh, she's done. Okay, one piano man for the detective. Here we go. Um, I'm just curious. Well, yes, because, okay. I, I thought maybe the description had a little bit more. Right, piano man. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three. It really makes me wonder, though, what the controls on the Switch are like for this. Because it is out on the Switch. Um, and then the Switch has motion controls. I think I've said this already, but the Switch has mo motion controls. You could literally, like, I don't have my Switch controller here because the Switch is in my living room. But, like, you could take the controller and just go with it, shake up a drink, and then it's done. Here. So this is what drinking something classic without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, so I should get going. I didn't even finish my drink. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything of uh, anything else, Miss Oshi. Please do. Alright, then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries, and he also made your cat ear stand up on safe situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it. For, well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is so this place is soothing. It's interesting. I wouldn't describe this music as well. This part, maybe. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. All right then, that would all right then. That would be all, Dana. Quite a mess the situation with um Robert. Whoa, who is this guy? Brian, you Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. Right, 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 right. Oh, uh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect you to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. His boss is about to yell at him. Jill will be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um... This holophone is an old model, so ha hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. You can call me Cass, by the way. I... I'm Jill. S say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. And wouldn't you say it's more interesting that way? They finally hung up. It's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm to that. Streets are calm to that. Um, this is Dorothy, I think. I have arrived yet again at the. <coughs> oh God. At the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. Oh, fuck, no, it's Vir Virgil Virgilio. God damn it. Well, time to put on my annoying voice. Oh, I should have guessed by the colored text it was him, but I just re remember, finally, the Dorothy has come back. So I thought, okay, maybe, but no. We miss a can There we go, that's his voice. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. Fine. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing, society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. We were all little toys wanted by a cruel hand of fate. I'm just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um, I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Uh, yeah, what the fuck does that mean? Something fake. Very, 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 
drinking water. I wish I knew what that means. It's probably a bottle drink that I don't have. That's why I should buy more. I think there's one more thing that's supposed to be here and I don't have it yet. Something fake. I honest to God wonder what he means by it. Can I actually look through the, the drinks real quick? Traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. I wonder if it's beer. I wonder if that's what he wants. Uh we recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes now. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. No, if that's not what we're looking for. Fake. Um, I think that might actually be it. Yeah, I'm looking through and I'm thinking that's it. Wait, they used to actually sparkle, but no, 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 but that, it doesn't mean it's fake. Yep, I think, I think it's beer. I'm gonna go with beer just because the description says Traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close, so it's not really beer. It's beer. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, coming with B, beer, final answer. Dun, 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 dun. Here you go. Now, tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Say, Ver, uh, Ver, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pronounce it his way. Verhirio. Where do you work? I think the normal duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. I'm so. Oh, fuck. Why? Curators. Mm, you have to. Okay. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and clean and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits and you're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. <laughs> he still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Huh? What he wants purity is I can't give him pure ingredients, so... I feel like this game is, like, quizzing my own knowledge of the drinks. drink like some frothy water because water is supposed to be pure-ish right I don't know did I did I honestly just miss something that said pure 
That one's so boring. I'm that I think that's what I may go with. Damn, I just I, I like don't ever do this to a bartender, please. This this is a headache and a half to have to do. Uh classic drink. I'm just gonna go with frothy a uh, frothy water here. If you don't like it, it's a one hundred fifty dollars. I'll just throw it on my comp tab. That's how I feel about this right now. Alright, age and mix. How is how is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Oh yes, beautiful. God, I hate this guy. Should I just be selling him like the highest drink we have? Huh? Hey you, the guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? I can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. Oh. No, 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 no! We haven't met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. Ah, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. All right, be careful out there. Thanks, Prof. Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face, that eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um... Did you just scare off a No. Apparently. No, he was scared way before this. Well, not way before, it was Gil. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy? So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What, what? Gil stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we, last, uh, when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that uh, with that one uh, with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. Wait, what? New employee? A part timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy. Gillian, you're getting replaced. An adorable guy, if I say, do say so myself. Oh no. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? D yeah. It must be nothing. Brian told me to give it to you. Brian gave me 500 bucks, baby! Blow the service bonus. No mistakes. Oh, fuck you for giving me yo and your stupid fucking orders. I got me 4,837 bucks, yeah. Woo! I'm feeling a lot better about that electric electricity bill. That's what kind of happens with some shifts. Like, you get stressed out, and you're like, damn, everything's kind of closing in with bills and whatnot coming up. It's the end of the month. I gotta make money, and then you just have one good day at work, and you work your ass off, and you're like, fuck yeah! I don't have to stress out as much anymore, but it still sucks to have that moment of needing to stress out. Anyway, next time, we will. We will, we were gonna help Jill with her with her tenseness and buy her a shoulder massager, I guess. But uh, we will be back with more Valhalla and more of the intriguing things that have been going on and figure out who this new employee is. We'll see you then. Bye.